moment certainly gets some delicate missions to perform. Fresh from his ambassadorship in Russia, he now undertakes a task of positively vital importance in the East. I'm just off to India and I'm going because I feel convinced that both the British government and the British people are anxious that I should do my utmost to try and accomplish that uh, self-government for India which has been so long promised. Two years ago, or rather over two years ago now, I was in India, and I made very many friends there amongst people of all sorts and kinds. And I'm going back to India, not as the friend of any particular race or religion or class, but I hope as the friend of all the Indian peoples, realizing just as much the desires of the Muslims, as of the Congress, and as of the Sikhs, and of other peoples, with the hope that between us we may be able to work out a satisfactory means of solving this question of self-government. And once that's solved, I believe we shall be able to rally all the peoples of India to the defense of their own native land, which now is so urgently being threatened. A tremendous issue is at stake. Sir Stafford brings to its solution his own tact and sincerity, as well as the goodwill implicit in the government's plan. Few of us envy him his responsibility. All of us wish him absolute success. Seen last December at a port in Western Australia, German prisoners